ETN HD Production Live here with actor Matt Corboy, who plays Cousin Ralph in The Descendants. Did you have fun making this film? This was uh, honestly the, the most fun I've ever had as an actor. It really was. Uh, it was a terrific experience. And they interviewed me after my last scene for the DVD, and, uh, and I started crying <laughs> because I didn't want it to be over. And, uh, and I said, it really, it trickles down from the top. And Alexander Payne sets an amazing tone on his sets. And from him to Jim Burke, uh, Jim Taylor, who's another producer, George Parra, another producer, those guys are the, some of the greatest dudes out there. And all the actors and every last crew member was so cool. And uh, AP, Alexander knows everybody's name. George Clooney knows everybody's name. I mean, first on the set, he knows, they know everybody from the top producer all the way down to the last PA. You know, and, uh, and those guys have zero ego, and so it just made for an unbelievable experience. And you've seen this film several times yes, now. Yeah. What has your reaction been to it over the course of seeing it over and over again? Uh, you know, it's, that's the beauty of it. It gets better, honestly. Uh, we were at the Hawaii uh, International Film Festival, HIF, and Jim Burke said to the crowd, uh, he said, you know, this is about your state, and this is about your hometown. And the first time you watch it, you're going to be so uh, involved with like, oh, that's, uh, you know, 4th Street Mall. Oh, I know where that is. That's when you drive around to Makapu. Oh, that. And, uh, and he said, honestly, like, see this movie again and again and again. He's like, not from a financial standpoint, but just because you pick up things that you didn't see before. You really do. It's like a, it's like a fine wine. Like it does. It honestly gets better with more you see it. And, uh, and I picked, I still pick, I've seen it six times. And <laughs> I still uh, uh, pick up things in the movie that I hadn't seen before. Or I hadn't heard before. I'll give you an example. Uh, I told Alexander after, like, I think it was my fourth time seeing it. I said, "I love the clock," and he goes, "I know exactly what you mean." <laughs> it's in the scene with Shailene Woodley, who plays uh, Alexandra, and Matt King, George Clooney, and she tells him that he's the mom was cheating on him, and you hear the tick, 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 tick of the clock, and I just thought that was so powerful you know and I didn't hear it the first three times I saw it yeah. and then I all of a sudden I was like I heard it that's amazing you know and at what point did you start crying in the film <laughs> how many times did you see it I, I cried pretty early on actually I told Alexander that I said um, I said the minute uh, Shailene Woodley Alexander gets the news that her that they're you know they're pulling the plug on her mom she goes under the water and I lost it yeah. You know, and it was amazing. I, the first time I saw it, I cried then a little bit. And the second time I saw it, I mean, I was <laughs> in my seat, you know. <laughs> uh, so, and, Al and in fact, uh, Alexander goes, you cried that early? <laughs> and I go, yeah, because that's pretty early on in the movie. And, uh, and so I did. And it's, I think that's just touching. I mean, put yourself in that position. You know, you're this 17-year-old girl and you're gonna, your mom's going to die, you know. And all you have is your dad and your little sister who you may or may not really get along with that great, you know? And, uh, and her journey, and Shailene Woodley is, she's an amazing actor. She's also an amazing person. I tell people, I'm like, if I had a daughter, I would want her to hang out with Shailene to learn how to be a human being. <laughs> it's true, like she's unbelievable, yeah. And you have some upcoming projects as well. Uh, I do, well let me say one more thing about, about The Descendants, okay. so you asked about it. Oh. Uh, the, what I'm, see it's, I'm, I am born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an actor here in Los Angeles, but I got to audition for this movie back home. And, uh, and so another thing which made it so special is that, you know, because I am from there. And it's, it's really great to go back to your home state and have the people of Hawaii support you and go and do this thing that really shows off, I think, Hawaii in a, in a totally real way that's never been shown before. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that also it was like sort of a, it was a very prideful, you know, moment for me of being able to, you know, sort of give credence to this state and you know that I'm from and you know yeah. yeah it felt very it felt more American than you usually see Hawaii like it felt very more domestic well, I mean look at me you know yeah. people I meet people all the time and they're like where are you from and I'm like I'm born and raised in Honolulu Hawaii and they're like you yeah. are <laughs> you know and so I mean people think like you you either have to be Hawaiian or have to be some <laughs> some kind of local whatever but no, uh, my grandfather was stationed there for World War II, and then my father uh, was raised in Hawaii, and I was born and raised in Hawaii. And so, uh, you know, sort of third generation out there, and my parents are still out there, and all my cousins and aunts and uncles and everything. Uh, and so, 
but yeah, it, it's you you know Hawaii. It's like the seventh largest city in the U.S. I mean, it's a million people in Honolulu. It's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. But I do have an I, I have an upcoming project that just actually premiered. Uh, it's a new series. Mm -hmm. It's Hulu's first original series, oh. scripted series. Uh, it's called Battleground, mm -hmm. and uh, I it's about. Um, a, a team, uh, a campaign manager and his team, and the election, it's a, uh, it's a fictional election, the, the Senate race in, uh, in Wisconsin. And I play the, uh, the antagonist in the, in, the first, uh, s in the first season. I play um, this guy named Michael Corboy. Okay. I like his last name, Michael Corboy, that's good. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I play, uh, I don't play a very nice guy in that show, oh. uh, but I play the incumbent's campaign manager who, uh, who goes, uh, you know, has uh, sort of, uh, you know, maybe uses some, uh, his, his tact isn't so great, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, I feel yeah. like campaign managers have a bad rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> for good reason. <laughs> yeah. And we can watch that on Hulu coming up. watch on Hulu now. Actually, the first episode is up on Hulu.com, and uh, they're going to roll out every Tuesday. It was the 14th was the first one, so the 21st of uh, February is the next one. And then they're rolling it out every Tuesday, all 13 episodes in the season. That was a lot of fun. I tell people, I was like, this is the second most fun I've had shooting anything. And they're like, what's the first? And I was like, The Descendants. Obviously. <laughs> like, Obviously, you know. <laughs> and other than IMDB, which you are, of course, on, are there any other websites that we can take a look at? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Corboy9 is my, uh, my Twitter handle. And um, yeah, that's about it. Hey, well, thank you so much, and best of luck with everything. Thanks, Katie. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.